So hey guys, welcome back to my channel J N Two Explainer. In the new series, we are going to start the topic of VAPT, which is Vulnerability Assessment and Penetration Testing. We are having totally five units, unit one to five in this, and in the first video, we'll be discussing the unit number one, which is Introduction to VAPT. In this, the very first topic we are talking about is ethics of ethical hacking. Here we will be learning what are the ethics that an ethical hacker should have while doing ethical hacking, and the second topic is why you need to understand your enemy's tactics in ethical hacking. So, by the end of this video, you'll understand the ethics of ethical hacking and why you need to understand your enemy's tactics. Let's start the video. So, before starting the video, let's understand what is meant by ethical hacking. So. Ethical hacking means legally breaking into systems to find vulnerabilities before attackers exploit them. For example, you are having your own PC, right? If a person unauthorizedly enter or break into your PC, then it's attacker. And if a person who legally break down or who legally enter into your PC with your permission is called an ethical hacker or ethical hacking. Secondly. Let's discuss the code of ethics for ethical hacker. Here we'll be having four different types. First one is authorization, then protect confidentiality, then report all findings honestly and do not harm. Here, an ethical hacker should first of all have the authorization, then he have to break break into with proper permissions. Secondly, protect confidentiality. If he has done something then he have to protect it at any cost uh, to the organization's welfare the third one is report all findings honestly if i have breakdown into your computer then i have found something which is inappropriate or which is vulnerable i have to report it everything to you in detail so that you have to correct it down and the fourth one is do not harm yes when a person has broken down into your computer and he is trying to find any vulnerabilities he may know if he if he has find out anything and using that he shouldn't harm the uh, computer and the last one we, which we will be discussing is why ethics matter in the field of cyber security the only thing which matter here is, is ethics if he is working ethically he is an hacker who can help people but if he is not working ethically he is a person who can attack anyone here the first one where ethics matter why ethics matter is to build trust if if i work ethically you will you are the person who can trust me and give me your pc right and the second thing is prevents legal consequences if i work ethically and i have found something and i work with you in ethical manner you won't uh, uh, sue me for that and instead you can prevent the legal consequences here and the last one is protects professional reputation it keeps the uh, reputation of a professional person and an attacker let us end our first topic with the example of bug bounty hunters we all know who are bug bounty hunters right so they basically eth or ethically find out the vulnerabilities in an organization and they report them and they gets reward instead of that so first they hunt they report the bug and they get rewarded in return with this we end our first topic which is why are ethics important in ethical hacking and the second topic so the second topic is need to understand your enemy's tactics in cyber security your enemy is the attacker right if i am in a field where there is so much of competition the person who is opposite to us opposite to us isn't an attacker but the person who tries to harm us is an attacker to defend effectively you must think like a hacker right so what are the common attacker tactics they use different uh, techniques but here we will be discussing first one is social engineering 
exploiting software bugs malware deployment password attacks and network attacks we all know what are these tactics or what are these attack techniques we have learned them in many of our videos so the next we will be focusing on why study the tactics so to predict their next move as an cyber security expert or cyber security ethical hacker i need to understand what is the next move done by the attacker so to predict their next move we need to understand as an we need to understand the enemy tactics second one to identify the weak points where even the attacker has done mistake to find out that mistake and to work on them third one build stronger defense system by understanding the weaker points we can build and protect our systems let's end this topic with an example if most hackers start with phishing or phishing emails or calls the companies can implement better spam filters to filter the spam emails which they get in their company second one multi factor authorization the last one is employee awareness training we can aware our uh, employees by uh, taking different awareness 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 training classes and make them proactive so that no this type of uh, false thing done in our organization with this i end my first video in wapt if you want any other topics in cyber security you can freely comment down in uh, in my comment section i will try to make a video on them and please subscribe so that we can reach the mark of 1k subscribers thank you guys bye